E W S. The Overnight Underground Podcast. Here's the headlines. Big gains on the Dow. The White House wags its stinky little finger. Who is the rat thing to put the finger on us? Michigan's squirt gun priest and your cat is a stone cold killer. These stories and more coming up on today's Overnight Underground News. I'm John Ford. The Dow is kicking ass and taking names today, with U.S. markets up over 900 points midday. CNBC reports the gains are due to the news that possible coronavirus vaccines could be on the way. Woo-hoo! Michigan-based Moderna has gone on record that early results from their COVID-19 trial vaccines are showing promise. All 45 participants in the trials developed antibodies against the virus. The incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. Needless to say, Moderna's stock price has also been a big gainer today, up around 40%. Can anyone say pump and dump? Just pump up the volume and call me kitty. The Trump White House is now pointing fingers at the CDC for failings in the battle against coronavirus. CNN reports that the finger wagging you don't know where that finger's been coming from the administration is squarely aimed as a rationalization for the COVID-19 death toll. The CDC, which which really had the most trusted brand around the world um, in this space, really let the country down uh, with with the testing because not only did they keep the testing within the bureaucracy, they had a bad test, and that did set us back. White House Senior Trade Advisor Peter Navarro on CNN. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar also proposed yesterday that underlying health conditions was one reason for the lofty American death toll. A priest at St. Andrew's Parish in Gross Point, Michigan, not only got into the spirit of the drive-by church service, Father Tim Pelk took it a step further. The power of Christ compels you. NBC's Today and other outlets are reporting that the priest, during Holy Week a little over a month ago, used a squirt gun to bless parishioners with holy water. Squirt, squirt. Pelk said, quote, you can't double dip into the holy water container. I thought, what could I do that would keep the quarantine restrictions going and give kids the experience of Easter? Undoubtedly, not the first time a priest gave the kids the old squirt, squirt. Awful, just awful. We're not quite sure how you're going to survive this next story, but the Daily Beast is reporting that that bastion of journalistic integrity, the National Enquirer, is about to shit the bed. Poop in the bedpan. How will we survive and find out about UFOs, aliens and Obama, Elvis, Michael Jackson and OJ's shoes if the Enquirer goes out of business? I don't honestly know. Your cute little pussycat, he's a cold-blooded killer. A new Australian study has reported by the LAD Bible, house cats who strut their stuff outside the home are stone-cold killers. The study, published in Wildlife Research, notes that a single domesticated pet cat is capable of snuffing the lives of up to 186 reptiles, birds, and mammals in just one year. That's the first indicator of a serial killer, you freak. Jeff Dahmer would have been envious. In the lifetime of a cat, that's over 80,000 victims snuffed out by your adorable little serial killer. Honestly, cats should be categorized as biological weapons and controlled by the Geneva Convention. Comedic intellect Fred Willard died over the weekend. Maybe most known these days for his role in the sitcom Modern Family, Willard was also known for his many roles in the mockumentaries of Christopher Guest, including Best in Show, A Mighty Wind, and Waiting for Guffman. Hey, what happened? Willard was 86. N-E-W-S. A mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.